Hello, and welcome to episode five of Scales of Justice. This episode is titled Case Five, Doing What's Right. This is our Finger Puppet Management TV project, and we are group nine, Team Floridians. Hope you enjoy. In episode four of Scales of Justice, we saw Jennifer approach Gilt about him stealing evidence from other lawyers' cases. In this particular instance, it was Noble's case. Gilt revealed the reason why he was stealing junior lawyers' evidence was to maintain a competitive advantage over them. This was to provide value where his competitors or colleagues couldn't. Now, Gilt said the reason he did this was to maintain his top lawyer status at the firm while also keeping his undefeated streak. He also issued a formal warning to Jennifer in pursuing this and outing him. If she did, it could put her job in jeopardy. Now, let's see how this uh, unfolds in this episode with Jennifer's decision. Well, that didn't go as expected. Now that the truth is out I'm more confused than ever. If this keeps going on then the firm is doomed to fail. While the decision is hard, it's clear that I have two ways to which I can approach it. Let's examine this. So I can look at this as an ethical dilemma because it's a choice between two arguably valid options. I can take the left approach and secure the job I love to do, or the right approach and do the morally correct thing for the team. Decisions, decisions. I've made my decision. One way or another this issue will be decided right here and right now. The law or my job one cannot exist while the other does. Well that concludes this week's episode of Scales of Justice. In this episode we saw Jennifer having to face an ethical dilemma given to her by guilt. She could take the ultra approach, which focused on the consequences, in this case being losing her job, or the moral rights approach, which focused on a moral standing independent of the consequences. We saw Jennifer contemplating these two decisions, and then at the end of the episode, we saw her in Gil's office ready to confront him. Will she have decided between the ultra or the moral rights approach? Stay tuned to episode six to find out. Thank you for joining us again. Have a great day.